Holy Cross at Prayer for Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And a reading from Acts chapter 2. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. The foundation of the early church was the crucified and risen Lord. The signs and wonders done were a reflection of Christ. The words spoken by the apostles reflected Christ. It is the same for us today, here at Holy Cross and in the church at large. Christ is our foundation. Christ is our identity. Christ is the one who binds us together. Christ is the one we reflect as we live out our lives in love and in service to one another. Let us pray. Let your grace be upon Charlie, O Lord, and teach him to hope in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, since you have wakened from death the shepherd of your sheep, grant us your Holy Spirit that when we hear the voice of our shepherd, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen.